Now to a story you'll see only on six. A Broward grandmother of 15 is now facing an aggravated manslaughter charge in the death of one of her grandkids. NBC 6's Lorena Anglon is live from the Broward Sheriff's Office this evening with more. And Lorena, detectives say that the child suffered an overdose of a powerful medicine. That's right, Joanne and Jackie, and it took time to figure out what exactly caused the death of this baby. But according to that final autopsy report, the baby died from ciproheptadine toxicity, which is considered a medication that is a strong antihistamine. Josiah Tobias Vanellis, who was called Tobias, was almost 11 months old when his family received tragic news. On August 21st of 2022, Tobias was in the care of his grandmother, 53-year-old Tabina Lassant, when he became unresponsive. Uh, ultimately, the child was transported to Broward General, uh, Broward Health Medical Center, where he was tragically pronounced deceased. In October of last year, an autopsy revealed Tobias had a lethal concentration of ciproheptadine in his system. Ciproheptadine is legal with a doctor's prescription. Uh, without a doctor's prescription, it is illegal. And it is not approved for use in children under two years old. Earlier this year, the Food and Drug Administration put out this warning about Apidamin, a product containing ciproheptadine that is being illegally imported into the U.S. for weight gain. Last month, BSO echoed the FDA's warning. It is extremely important for the public to be aware that this product, uh, without a doctor's prescription, uh, should not be used. This past summer, BSO tells us toxicology tests confirmed that two baby bottles found inside Lassant's Oakland Park home tested positive for ciproheptadine. According to detectives, the child's grandma was the only person to prepare Tobias's bottles while she was caring for him. BSO tells me that it took time to really pinpoint what happened here because extensive testing needed to be done in this case. Now, according to the prosecutor, the baby also had swelling of the brain and a small, a small hemorrhage of the scalp, which means that he was bleeding between his scalp and his skull as well. Now, Lusant was released on bond and we went by her home today, but a gentleman sitting outside told us that she was not available. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Lorena Inclán, NBC6 News.